and that's so you can either print this out if you want to or you can save it on your phone if you are logged into your phone this my maps will actually be on your phone now i've been playing around with google maps everyone that knows me knows i'm a big fan of google and they've got a good way to personalize your google maps so if you can personalize your google maps you can get the five kilometer radius of how far you can go away now to start off with you'll have to have a google account of course and i'm sure everyone's got a gmail address so if you have a gmail address it means you've got a google account and you'll start off by going into your google profile you're logging into your google chrome i like using chrome I recommend using Chrome if you want to do this exercise. Once you log in, you then go to your Google Maps. But instead of going to your normal Google Maps, type in the search engine My Maps. So if you type in My Google Maps or My Maps Google, this will come up on top and you'll click on the My Maps um, link. So don't click on the normal Google Maps, click on the My Maps link. What this allows you, it allows you to personalize your Google Maps. Now I'm going to go to get started. In my case, I've already got a few maps. Um, you can maybe create a new map if you don't have one already. What's nice about these maps, you can also share it with others. Now I mainly use these maps if I go on a cycle or if I go for a walk or a run, then I'm able to import other data from other types of um, devices into my Google Maps. So let's start with the 5 kilometer radius. I'm going to go to my tracks. I'm just going to choose anyone. Actually, let's go to personal interest. I'll go to personal interest. I'll click on side here. Now to start off with, you'll have to start off with where your residence is. So you have to find your res residence. Now because of the public profile, I'm, I'm just gonna, I don't want to show my home address. I'm just going to go to um, my old school. So let's choose um, my old school. And I've typed in my own school. So if you're gonna, obviously going to type in your home address over here, your home address will pop up. Once that's there, you'll click on where your home is. Say add to map. So this will come up. You can say add to map. Once you add to map, it will put a placeholder there and it will give you that longitudinal and latitudinal line i don't know which is which but that the that long number so you're going to need that long number for this exercise what you're going to do is you're going to take that longitudinal and latitudinal number and you're going to capture it into a program which is online called um okay i can't even be exactly the program's name because i have a shortened address for it called my 5km so you're going to type in bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash my five kilometer. And we'll take you to the KML for Earth app. Okay. So this is the second tool you need. So once you've got the my Google Maps and you've got the second tool, you will then type in your latitudinal and longitudinal numbers. Perfect. Now we got the choice. We can draw a radius of either one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometers. So at the moment we're in stage four, we're on five kilometer radius. Hopefully they change it soon where we can go out maybe 10 kilometers away or 20 kilometers away. But apparently if you are five kilometers away from your home, you won't catch the coronavirus. Now I'm gonna put five kilometers there. I'm gonna put the red as my color. And I'm gonna say, generate the circle so when i click generate circle it's going to give a file a kml file now this kml file i'm going to save it as let's save it as um, training training 5km okay so when i put that inside i'm going to save it under my downloads and i'm saving it so now you've got that file saved the next thing is to go into your maps and add a layer so you're going to actually what you're trying to do now is you're actually going to put that circle in google maps and the way you do that is add a layer and under that layer can you see there 
the layer has been added, I'm going to rename it. It's not necessary to rename it, but I'm going to rather just rename it just so that I know what it's for. So I'm saying five kilometers from home. Okay. Save. And I'm going to import that file. Now by importing that file, all I'm going to do is just drop and drag it. The file that I downloaded. And once I drop and drag, you'll see a circle will come up. And that's so you can either print this out if you want to, or you can save it on your phone. If you are logged into your phone, this My Maps will actually be on your phone. And what's nice about this, you can also untick it. So can you see this untick? If I untick it, the, the five kilometer radius goes away. If I tick it, the five kilometers is there. You can see the center point. You can also draw circles around here. You can edit it afterwards. But for now, you got the gist of it. You can now know exactly how far away from home you are because you don't want to be on that side of the side because you don't want to go to jail okay so keep safe everyone we are going through a tough time and yeah this is one of the type of knowledge that i had in my head and some stuff that i was using and i thought it might be useful for those who are a little bit um, unsure of how far they can go from their home cool